This one, this is a curse. Yeah. See how many I can dodge. Hello, everyone. So, missiles have been out for over two years now, but I still see a lot of people who have basically no idea how to evade them effectively. Watching people do dumb things makes me sad sometimes, so I'll try to lay out some of the most effective techniques I've found for evading missiles. I'll start with just basic uh, evasive maneuvering, and then look at how flares should be used. So, what's the best way to evade a missile? Well, for starters, there are some minor things you can do to make the missile work harder before it's even launched. To do this, you often want to be flying at a relatively high speed, about Mach 0.8 to 0.9. Faster targets are generally harder to hit, and if an enemy wants to shoot you from the side, he'll often need to lead his missile in order to make a successful intercept. If an enemy is flying directly behind you, you should avoid flying in a straight line. I mean, obviously, but you don't need to be doing any high G maneuvers either. If you think he's about to launch a missile at you, just stay in a steady bank to the left or right. Doing this with an enemy that's right behind you will force his missile to do more work than if you only start evading after it was fired. If you watched my previous video on missile mechanics, you should know that almost every missile in the game will fly straight for about half a second or more. If you're evading during this period, even slowly, it will quickly result in a higher angle off for the missile once it starts maneuvering towards you. For most high-G missiles, this simple maneuver will not be enough to save you. However, a fairly reliable way of dodging even the 30G R60s and Magics is to perform a downward barrel roll. It looks something like this. First, make sure you have some altitude, about 300 meters minimum. When you see the missile fired at you, pull hard into it. If the missile looks like it's pulling ahead of you, this is where you gradually begin rolling over and pulling down towards the ground. Keep following through in a large barrel rolling motion, making sure that you don't directly pull into the missile. All that's left is to hope that you did it right and don't pancake into the ground. A few exceptions to this are if someone's shooting a missile at you from side on or from long range. In a side on shot, you want to pull hard into the missile. When it looks like it's pulling ahead of you, roll over and pull perpendicular to the missile. Once again, you'll need some altitude to make sure you don't pancake. With long range rear aspect shots, you'll still want to do barrel rolls, but avoid pulling too many Gs. In long range shots, your goal should be to force the missile into making large turns to boost its speed. Now, that's most of what you need to know for evading missiles. I'd also like to add a few examples of what not to do. For one, it's generally not a good idea to pull upwards. This will cause you to bleed off more speed than if you pull downwards, which in turn makes it easier for the missile to kill you. <laughs> it's also not a good idea to only start evading just before the missile hits you. Missiles can react quite quickly, and unless you're already forcing the missile into high G turns, it won't really do much. Also, don't do straight line flick rolls. I see people do this fairly often and it, it just looks silly, because all you're doing is bleeding speed and making it easier for the missile to hit you. Okay, now onto flares and how to use them effectively. Firstly, if you're going to try to decoy a missile with flares, turn off your afterburner. There is almost a 0% chance that you'll successfully decoy a missile if you have your afterburner on, especially if it's a missile with a decent seeker. In fact, your best chance is to reduce your throttle to half or even 0%, since the Phantom's two giant engines produce a great deal of heat, even without afterburner. Second, you won't always be able to decoy a missile just by lowering your throttle and dropping some flares. Depending on the position of you and your flares, it's possible that the missile will fly directly through the flares and then into you. So, on any of the Phantoms, for example, the flares are deployed directly behind the aircraft. That means if a missile is coming in from directly behind, you're just decoying the missile onto yourself. By comparison, the flares on the Harriers and the MiG-21 BIS deployed downwards. With a missile coming from behind, all you'd need to do is zero your throttle and drop a few flares. The point is, be aware of how your flares are set up and where the missile is coming from. And third, you can be conservative with your flares. In fact, spamming them out in a continuous stream can sometimes have a detrimental effect and end up leading the missile directly onto you. Instead, you'll want to release the flares at one second intervals or so. 
This puts some separation between your aircraft and each flare that it releases. There's also a technique called pre-flaring, in which you periodically deploy flares before an enemy fires a missile. This can sometimes trip up enemies when they accidentally lock onto your flares, which forces them to turn the missile off and on again. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully you'll now stand a better chance of not being in a funny Zataris haha montage.